Tonight, the NASA crew for SpaceX's next crewed mission is here in Central Florida. Over the weekend, the three Americans and one Japanese space agency astronaut landed at Kennedy Space Center. If all goes as planned, they will launch from the Space Center's historic launch pad 39A Saturday night. News 6's James Barbero is in Brevard County hearing from those astronauts today. We're very excited to be here in Florida at Kennedy Space Center. The day after the crew's arrival, Mike Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker, and Soichi Noguchi are at KSC's crew quarters where they continue final preparations. That's pretty amazing. We've been here less than 24 hours, and in that time we have seen our rocket, we've seen our space vehicle resilience, and we've seen our spacesuits. And so for an astronaut, that's considered a pretty good day. A bad day of weather, pushing back the rollout of the Crew-1 booster. We now expect to see a Falcon 9 rocket in the launch position tomorrow. Liftoff to the International Space Station is still scheduled for Saturday night. And we'll pay very close attention to tomorrow's hot fire test because two of the Falcon 9's engines were replaced following the last second abort last month of a different SpaceX rocket. And we have an abort. Investigators said the problem was discovered throughout the Falcon 9 fleet, including the Crew-1 rocket, which now has the two new engines. We have absolute faith and trust in uh, the team that is doing that, and, and so we know that uh, when we walk to that launch pad on Saturday, that everybody has assured that that vehicle is, is ready. Tomorrow, along with the rocket and capsule rollout, NASA and SpaceX also have one of their last major reviews before they can give the go for launch on Saturday night. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.